Right. This video, I'm basically looking for some help. Um, I'm looking for help from people that have experience with um, using PC power supplies as a kind of like a lab power supply, you know, for powering mot motors and relays and fans and stuff like that. You know, like a you know, like a lab power supply sort of thing. Um, now in the past I have used, th I've had three in the past and of course after, after a while they, they, don't, they don't last that long, well the ones I had uh, didn't last. Um, I've always managed to be, managed to work out how to um, power the unit up. The first one I got, basically all I had to do was plug it in, switch it on and that, that was it. It was very, very simple to, to work. The second one I got was, I had, had a few little wires on it. Um, but it was simple enough to work out what way to to make it so it switch on. The third one I got was this one, which is fried. Um, it, it, was, it took me a bit of time to work it out, but I managed to work it out. Lucky enough, there was only four wires to work with. There was a purple one, um, a blue and a green, and a brown. Um, basically, uh, I worked out the, co the combination required to do it. And got myself one of these, sorry, one of these switches here. Six, six uh, terminals on it, and basically add them wired up on there. And you turn the switch one way, switch the unit on, turn it the other way, it switches off, and that worked grand. This one I've got is a new one. Now I know the power supply when it was in the PC, it worked perfect. The computer works fine. I have the computer down beside me, but. I was going to do up, do, do up the computer, but basically I needed a power supply, so I thought, fuck it, I can get a new power supply for when I when I do get around to doing the computer up. So I thought, fuck it, I'll take this power supply out and I'll use it because I want to. I've got a laser there. I want to power power by something like like with one of these. So anyway, I took it out and I was basically greeted with five wires. Um, the, some of the wires are the same colour as what was on the other one. Um, one of them, the purple wire, is actually a thicker wire than the one that is on that side. Uh, the brown wire was actually connected to the, an orange cable, which I know is the 3.3 volt output, which you know there's numerous of 3.3 volts on the uh, PC power supplies. Uh, I also had a blue wire and a green wire. Now I also had blue and green on the other one, and on the other one. To make it work, I had to basically cross the blue and green, and then basically switch between the purple and the brown wire to make it switch on and off. Now I tried that combination with this; didn't work. Um, I tried tried it with by you know cutting the brown wire off the orange wire that was fixed onto it, and still couldn't get it to work. Um, basically, all I've managed to be able to do with it so far is basically I'll demonstrate now is if I connect, I think it's the green one, to, uh, yeah, I think it's the green one, oh, this thing, no, I have this thing switched on. If I switch, if I connect the green one to the orange and brown one, which, it powers the three different voltages, the uh, 12 volt, the 5 volt, and the 3 volt. But these are, you know, so they're all powered. The 5 volt isn't powering properly because it's, it kind of stops that, stops that. As you can hear, the 12 volt side is doing the same and the 3 volt side is kind of stops that. If I was to connect the purple wire to the brown and orange, I, the 3 volt side is working perfect. The 5 volt side is working perfect. But the 12 volt side is not working at all. Um, there's a, I've tried so many combinations of these wires. I've had it so it's clicking really fast. Um, I'll just, I think this one is. See, the 12 volt works there. It goes on and it goes off straight away. Um, which combination was it? I think I had the brown, the grey with the brown. Ah, yeah, that was it. There's another combination there, that's green, orange, 
brown and grey. And if I was to touch touch the blue onto them, it would switch the switch switch it all off. No, actually the wires came off. I basically I I cannot work this one out. Um, maybe it's the style of the unit, maybe it only puts out pulses of power, it's not a continuous feed. I don't honestly know. If anyone out there has, has ever come across a unit like this that they've had problems and it and it's done this pulse output pulsing but managed to overcome that and work out how to fucking make it work like a constant output on all of the different voltages then please t you know tell me and if you can and it, it, I'd really appreciate it if you could make a, a, a video um, showing, showing me what you did uh, or just basically explaining what you did so I'll give you a quick um, look at the, uh, the the power unit now <coughs> I did notice with this one one big difference between this one and all the other ones I've used in the past. Now, to look at it straight off, it looks like a transformer, but it's not. I reckon it's a, um, a chalk or something, because there's two brown wires going into it there, but there's absolutely no... Oh, ah! I just got a shock there. Unplug the back. I touched one of them fucking cooling fan, um, fins. It didn't, it wasn't a big shock, it was just kind of like a static sort of a feeling. Anyway, the, the second, the, the, the other side, there's no wires coming out of that at all. Those two wires that you see running across are just the power supply to the cooling fan, which come off this board here. So, I reckon it's a chalk or some, some sort. So, if anyone can, has come across this sort of a problem and overcome it, then please um, help me out. And um, thanks for watching. And hope to have some replies soon. Okay. Bye.